Good morning and hi everybody. I know we're kind of like up close and personal. I'm like in your face, baby. So um, my name is Anna. Channel name is Only My Dreams. Thank you so much for coming by. I really appreciate it. Today I'm going to be doing a uh, miniatures.com haul. I placed an order this week. It came super quick. Uh, I had a coupon for I think 20 or 25% off. So I went on ahead and picked up a few dollhouse miniature items that I had on my wish list. So I'm going to share them with you now. So let me go ahead and pan you down so you get to see. Hey guys, I am back. How you guys doing? Let me see if I can pull y'all over a little bit more right here. There we go. All right. So this is the first piece. It's a town and square miniature set. I bought this to go for my kitchen um, that is kind of like in a black and white theme. This, I'm going to tell you how much this costs. This is a five-piece set because you got the table. And I'm going to try to pull it out for you. Uh, let's try to open these things up for you. Whoop. I don't know if it's going to fit well in my kitchen, but I am certainly going to try to put it in there. And this set cost um, the five-piece Oxford table and chair set. That's what it's cost. $23.99. Now I did have a coupon for my entire purchase. I had a $25 discount for my entire purchase. And let's pull this out Oof, very gently so you can see the pieces in all their glory. And then I can recycle this. It's like less stuff. <laughs> recycle. Okay. So as you can tell, this is the beautiful um, table. It has this wonderful detail down here with the solid middle, very sturdy, and then the very pretty unique legs. It does even have detail going around here on the edge of the table itself. So it's not just your standard table. Um, it's really pretty. Now the chairs are a little bit more on the standard side, I feel, but they still have a lot of... Um, let me move that out. There you go. So they still have a they still have a little charm to them. Um, I like the fact that they put a little detail here in between. Most of the time they don't do that, so it does give it a little bit more character. So I'm gonna put this in my uh, kitchen, so you could see, you know, where and how I wanted to place it and see if it works. So I'll insert that here. Hi everybody, welcome back. I just wanted to show you what I did with the table and what I did with the spice rack and the Rasta garlic and the ham. So here we go. So this was the dining room set that I just purchased and this is how I decorated it. So I used the green plates and I also put some additional plates that I had from before that had the black edging. I put those on top. I thought they complemented it beautifully. There's this really gorgeous decorative um, cake here. If you see all the little details on the cake as well. I know this little, this little spot you see there are wax. I have to clear that up. But there you go. Isn't that cool looking? And then here's some more detailed items I've shared before. But I'll share once more. Then here I added some more things. And then I added more items on the shelves. Then I did add this little detail here that I created myself on the top of the refrigerator. I thought it looked really nice. There's a Dollar Tree um, faux clock. And let's visit over here. Oh, there's the spice rack. Look at that. Doesn't that look great? I love the spice rack there. Then there's the little ham. That I purchased. There's the ham. I'm loving this. Then there's the carafe and some other items. Then here is the garlic rasta. I hung it up right there. Doesn't that look fabulous? Oh my gosh, I love it, love it, love it. So um, there's my kitchen and my new pieces to it, which I am in total love. Now I do have to work on this side. I'm filling up all those shelves, and I'll share that with you as soon as that gets done. But I'm loving how that came out with the garlic, the spice rack, the ham, and all these wonderful new additions. 
I hope you guys enjoyed. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that little sneak peek into my kitchen um, and the new addition. And again, that was called the Oxford Table and Chair Set. It was five piece set for $23.99. Um, the next two pieces, I have wanted for a long time and they've been on my wish list and they have been on back order. These two pieces are called the Windsor Bench. They are $10.99 each, the Windsor Bench, and these are by Town & Country. I'm going to open these up. I've wanted these uh, for so long, you guys. Every single time I went to order these, they would be sold out every single time. And I can't believe I actually caught them in stock. It's just beyond me that I was able to catch them in stock. So I was tickled pink. I've wanted these for a long time. For well over a year. That's how long. And they're such charming pieces, honestly. Now, if we take a look at it, as you could tell, it's a Windsor Bench. It's a true blue Windsor Bench style uh, design. And if you see all the beautiful details, look at that. Look at that. Look at all the turnings. Look, it even has a turning right here. It has all the turnings on the legs right here. Um, just look at that beautiful detail. Then, of course, here it, you have this for support and stability, which I love. It's those little additional details that really bring it to life. The slats are not just your regular straight slats. They do have detail to them. If you can see, I'll put my hand behind it. It curves in here at the top and it curves in at the bottom. So it's not just a solid straight slat. It does have dimension to it. Um, it's just an absolutely beautiful piece. A little bit more on the delicate side. So I'm going to have to be kind of careful with this. Uh, I got two of them. As you could tell. So um, I want to put these in my house. Let me see where I could put them. Maybe I could show you where I'm going to place them. Let's see. Okay. So this is a space that's like in between the rooms, obviously. Um, you're going up the stairs. And um, I had a few things in here and they got moved around to other rooms, obviously. And then there's like a kid's room going in that direction. But I'll share that with you another day. I do have it up already, but I did add some things to it. But this is the, this is the space where I wanted this for. Now, if you look in here... It does have like a little light right here. Where's the light right there? It does have a closet and the closet does open. Let me see if I can open her up without shaking you guys up too much. Let me see. It does have a closet and I believe I have a few things in there. <laughs> I do have a few things in there. Okay. So, um, let me go back in there and get those out. Let me close this closet door. There we go. And that has this really pretty faux um, look to it. And then that one has a door too. And that's where the steps would go. And I don't have steps up right now. Because the house didn't come with steps. So let me show you what I'm going to do. First of all, this is a table from the Dollar Tree. Which I revamped myself. So this is a Dollar Tree $1 table. And what I did is I decoupaged it with this beautiful scene that was um, online. And this was a, what do you call this? A tapestry. So I just took the door, the, the knobs off the front, painted it, kind of roughed it up a little bit, and then decoupaged it so I can have a whole different look and feel. So I think what I'm going to do is put this over here. Over here. There we go. I'll put it right there. And my Windsor chairs, I want one here. Here we go. I want one Windsor chair there because I want people to be able to sit down and visit. And that's the other side where the Windsor chair is going to be. Now, I want to add something to the okay, table. So I added that floral and that's not quite centered. So I'm trying to do this quickly. So I added that floral and then, um, again, still not centered, but that's okay. Then I have my Windsor chairs here, which I'm so happy about. Yay! Now I can add things to this, which I will be including rugs, to give it more dimension. Okay? 
So let's look at the rest. Okay, so let me show you some a few other items that I picked up. I also picked up this. And this one is, what's this called? This one's called the Granville Bench. The Granville Bench. And it was $15.99. $15.99. So let's open her up. Now, I picked this piece out to go in the living room. I'm not going to show you the living room right now. The way I've been showing you all the rest of the rooms, I'll come back and do a video for that because I need to move a couple things around to get to a point where I can sit comfortably to tape in front of that. But this is the beautiful Granville bench. As you can tell right here, can you see it? Even the cushion is tucked in right there. It has the toughening right there. You see that? I love these little details. It goes up here. And then it has the really pretty wood detail. Do you see that? Yeah. Do you see that? It has a beautiful wood detail. And it has a little curvature here. Beautiful curvature right there as well right here in the front. And look at that on the side. So even on the side, you're looking at something that's very pretty and ornate. So all the way around, it's just a beautiful, beautiful piece. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? I know. So this is going to go in my living room. Um, and it's going to look beautiful. And I didn't even notice that. Look at that, how it has that little curve. Like even has that beautiful, yeah, right there. Wow. I love this. Okay. So that's that piece. Let me get it out of the way. Then I did buy this. And this one is called the 19-piece geometric green coffee and dinner plate set for $9.99. So this was basically $10. One penny less than 10 They have several different sets, but I thought that this green geometric might work well in my dining room area. I have shared the dining room area before. I'm sorry. <clears throat> Losing my voice. I haven't even had coffee yet. I'm going to put that up in the eye in the sky on the eye card. If you look up in the corner on your, um, I guess it would be your right, my left, uh, you will see, I'll try to put up videos so you can see those rooms. And I do have a playlist. I'll also add the playlist so you could just see everything. Um, but I wanted to add this to that hutch and see how much I could place on the table and the hutch. Because I do have a table, a beautiful chair wood table that needs to be filled. And let me see if I can open this up so you can see the detail of it. Okay. Oh, everything's falling out. But of course, everything would fall out, darling. Why not? Let's see if I could bring this up to you guys so you can see it a little bit better. And there's a little... little piece right there that goes on the top and then the little plates okay so oh the Anna that doesn't go there okay that goes here this little mug goes here okay there you go so now you can see them up close and personal hopefully it's not um too bad there we go can you see it better now very beautiful little plates Beautiful little detail, very charming. I love the green um, and the detail on the plates. I thought that they were so pretty. So you got two small plates, two larger plates, um, the big carafe, the smaller mugs, like a creamer, and then um, another, like maybe a sugar holder. But I love the set. I thought it was so pretty. And I think it'll complement that room very nicely. Again, um, I'll share that room with you another day. But I'll show you what it looks like now in, if you look up in the eye in the, in the eye card. Then they have these for sale. Were these for sale on special? Um, these are called, this is called the Embossed Terracotta Jardinier Set. Yeah, so these are $4.99 each set. $4.99. And I'm going to pop these open. This is how they came. Just so you can see. I'm trying to, trying to make this happen. There you go. Okay. So this is a Chardonnay set. 
I got two. And they are, you know, like clay slash terracotta looking. Um, very pretty, as you could tell. Very pretty. So if you want to use these alone, you could. You can use this indoor, outdoor. You can flip it over like that. It doesn't have to sit up like this. When it sits up and open one, this is what it's going to look like. Like that. Then you add your greenery to it, or you could do whatever. If you put this in a garden, inside a home, inside of a um, sunroom, however you want to do it. You could use these anywhere. Or you could do it like that. You see that? Do it like that. Or you could use them separately, and you put your own greenery in there, and then use this separately to hold something else. So this is a great little duo um, you could use them together or separately. And I like the fact that one end has, you know, the opening. So if you want to secure something a little bit more, um, so it won't be so wobbly, you could do that or you can use the topper. So I got two of those. Then, um, I did get, cause I didn't know what this was going to look like. And I really like it. I bought that from my kitchen. Um, if you don't know what this is, this is a uh, garlic ristra, 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 garlic ristra. I can't even say it right. And this was two dollars and forty nine cents. Okay, two dollars and forty nine cents. I wanted to add this to my kitchen, the one I just shared with you. And I I wasn't sure what it was gonna look like, and I actually like it. Look at that. So it's actually made very well. Um, you can see all the stringing here behind it, and then this is the garlic. Let me see if I can share it with you like that, and there's the garlic. You see the detail of the garlic right there? Look at that. It's amazing. So that's going to look really cool in there. So I'm going to put this in my kitchen, and I'm going to pick a spot where I can hang it. I'm not going to show it to you right now, but I'm just going to put it on the top part here so I don't have to hang it so I can continue to share with you what I got. Then I did pick up this. Now, this is from Bright Delights. Um, this is called, um, what's this called? What is this called, y'all? This is the Garnish Ham Platter. This was $10.99. $10.99. And again, you know, I got everything on discount, so they had a coupon so I was all in um, I don't know how to make foods myself except for like little cakes and they have to be super simple so when I can find um, you know deals like this I'm all in as you could tell here is the little ham let me see if I can show it to you like that here is the little ham and it does have um, cranberries on it as you can tell it is sliced that's on a little plate that even the plate, as you can tell right there, has a really nice design to it. If you can't tell, it has a very nice design to it. Then, um, let me see if I can show you the detail right here of the ham. There we go. And it looks like that. So I don't work with Fimo or with clay. I've never been good with that. So I'm okay with paying for it. But, um, yeah, this was, I thought it was cute. And I wanted it. So, this is going to go either on my dining room table, um, but I'll show you that another day, or in my kitchen. But for now, it's going to it's gonna find a home in my kitchen right now, right here. It's going to find a home right there in my kitchen. All right. Now, the next thing I got... Now, I am very peculiar and particular about bathrooms. I, If you haven't noticed, if you've been with me for a long time, you, you will have noticed that I don't have a bathroom in my dollhouses. I don't like them. I don't like to have bathrooms in my dollhouses. I don't, I'm not too sure why. I just don't. But I went on ahead and got this set. And I thought that I could work with this set. Now, what I'm going to do... Just to be completely honest, the set is by, um, let me see, this is by Town Square Miniatures. Uh, this is Town Square Miniatures. Let me see. This one was the priciest one that was $29.99. It's a three-piece walnut. So this is walnut wood. 
um, Victorian bat set. Now, what I'm going to do, I think it's because a long time ago, there was a bat set that I wanted, and it was called Pe Pebble Stone. I, I shared it on my community tab, and they discontinued it, and I wanted it so bad. And by the time I went back to the store, not only did the store close, but I couldn't even find a Pebble Stone, not even online anymore. And I've been heartbroken ever since, and I just never put a bathroom set in my dollhouse since that time. I know it's crazy, but I'm, I guess I'm just like that. Well, I bought this. I don't like the style of this particular piece. Again, it lends itself well to the Victorian. I mean, there's a little thing right here. Um, lends itself well to the Victorian theme, obviously. Okay. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this off of here. Because I don't like this big, long, tall thing. And I don't, you know, pushing the water down Victorian style. I just want to put it here and attach it here in the back somehow. So I want this down here. And that's how I'm going to use it. So I'm going to have to detach that. But I like all the other pieces to the bathroom set. I like all the other pieces, as you could tell. Um, it has a beautiful design up here in the front. As you can see, nice design up here in the front. Beautiful design, nice like faux paneling type of a look here. Really nice, as you could tell. Then it has a solid back. It has the white bathroom topper, so you can add your little soaps, your towels, you know, your little, you know, little shampoos and things here if you wanted to. And um, it should open, so if you want to fill her up, you can fill her up and put towels and all kinds of things and cleaners and anything else you might need for a bathroom. Somebody pops that open, they're going to be pleasantly surprised to see what they find. So, and then I'll show you the bathtub. The bathtub I really liked, as you can tell, it has a really nice, unique look to it. There you go. And it's all the way around all the way around then it has the two nice handles nice tub and it even has a little stopper right here that you can take on and off with the chain so this is a very beautiful piece so i was like okay you know what if i have to use a piece this would be a piece that i could work with i can make happen and i might be able to put a bathroom in my doll houses and not feel weird about it <laughs> i know i'm so i'm i'm i know i'm totally out there then I did get four pieces of these chair rails. Um, these were just uh, $1.89. They were $1.89 each. Um, it's just chair rail. It was on sale. And I don't normally work with chair rail, but I really wanted to. So I bought it because it was at a really good price, and now I have it. So if I want to work on it, I can do it and not feel bad about messing up the wood if I don't get it right. Okay, then the last piece, I think this is my last piece. This is the um, Classics um, Quality Dollhouse Accessories. This is a spice rack, okay? This spice rack was $9.99, and it has all the little tiny spices with it right there, as you could tell. Let me see. I'm probably going to have to glue these in, so I'll probably do that right now after I get off of here with you guys and just glue in the spices so they don't fall out and I don't lose them. That's going to be the easiest way for me to do it. You don't have to use the spices in here if you want to use this for something else, some cups, some plates or mugs or something else. You might have this unique or different, something you created. You can always do that. Um, but this is just your little rack right here. And it has a nice detail here on the top. And then here are the spices, which are really tiny. There's the spices. See how tiny they are? You see how tiny? But you can see the names and everything. So I'm going to try to put them in place and show you what it looks like. Okay, guys. So I glued these in. And this is what they look like with the little tiny spices. As you could tell, look at the size of my nail. And I, what I found is the first one I glued it here at the bottom, and that didn't fare very well. So then I glued the back, and they seem to be doing a lot better when you glue not the shelf, but the back wall. 
that they're holding a little bit better. This bottom one was a little bit of a tight squeeze, but I was able to get them all in just fine. And I'm really happy with the way that they look. They're so cute. Love it. And please know that they do have a catalog that you can request. It's miniatures.com. Um, this is, this is who they are, miniatures.com, okay? And they have, uh, some really cool stuff for you guys to check out, okay? So there you go. I hope you all enjoyed this share, and I'm going to add this little new addition to my kitchen, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!